Today we're going to go over three things you shouldn't do to your stroller based on our experience in the workshop, which are all common causes for a variety of wear problems people tend to have. And first on our list is to point out that cooking oils are not for lubricating your stroller. I've seen this many times over the years, in particular as an attempted fix for front wheel swivel issues where the unmistakable whiff of rancid oil immediately identifies the cause of the problem. Because you see, unlike proper lubricants, cooking oil drives to leave a sticky residue that collects dust and grit and winds up inhibiting smooth movement worse than whatever problems existed before, and which then can't be fixed without a full disassembly of the affected mechanisms, a good hard scrubbing of all components with warm water and soap, followed by proper lubrication after drying. What are proper lubricants for a stroller? The sort of products that come from a hardware store, or even better, an auto supplies shop. Silicon spray, multi-purpose car grease, food industry grease, and for many applications, in particular for hard to reach mechanisms where you don't want to do a full disassembly, WD-40. The best product for the job depends a bit on the mechanism, and I've linked a video in the description that provides more info about this, but in no cases is the solution cooking oil. Alright, next up, and a more common reason for problems, is that you really shouldn't store your stroller outside if it's at all possible. There are many sorts of problems that come from keeping your stroller outside, but the key three that affect longevity, meaning stuff beyond spiders playing house in the brake system, the backside of the wheels, or their favorite, the textiles, are generally rust, mildew, and sun fading. Sun fading is easy, just don't leave your stroller in the sun all the time when you're not using it. Though as a side tip, treating your textiles once a year with a bit of waterproofing spray, sold often in shoe or sporting goods stores, will help as a preventive measure, slowing the process of fading. Mildew and rust are a bit more serious. Mildew because, even though it can often be removed, the process involves hard chemicals, and it's very hard to accomplish without at least a little discoloration. While rust, because if it goes too far, you may have to replace components in particular with cases such as front wheel forks rusted within their housings, axles rusted tightly to ball bearings, and rusted brake cables. And thus, it's simply much easier to just store your stroller in a dry environment and do a little maintenance in the form of washing and lubrication a couple of times a year. And last up then, are problems stemming from people with strollers that have air-filled tires not pumping their wheels correctly, which includes not removing the wheels from the chassis when pumping, which is important for keeping the tire evenly spaced around the rim, not making sure front swivel wheels are pumped properly, as this puts a lot of unnecessary stress on the connection of the front forks to the housings, which exacerbates steering problems. Keeping PSI roughly even on all tires to prevent the stroller leaning to one side as this leads to asymmetrical stress on the side that's lower. And lastly, a problem that I still see occasionally, not pumping your wheels with the air compressor at a gas station as it's simply way too easy to over pump your wheels which can mean not only damaging the tires but often the wheel rims as well. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe or even hit the donate button if you're so inclined, as this sort of support helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like some more tips on stroller maintenance, a variety of videos have been linked in the description. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.